Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of my Let's Create World series. I am done some uh, progress, as you guys can tell. The first things first, a little small progress I've actually done is I've actually sorted out and decorated the front of a base. I think actually adding this is actually in some greenery, it's actually bringing the base pretty well lit up together and I'm actually really really happy with it. Uh, the other thing is before we actually go into the main thing is this building right here. This is our control unit. So I was going to do this on camera but I really wanted to get this done because I really need to get supplies up and running. So let me go up here. Uh, wait, no. Grand them on white. We need to go into the little mini grinding area which is located right down here and we go up here. If we go up these stairs, you guys hit a trap door, and then the trap door will lead out to a balcony. This just shows you where everything is, and also shows you what I've been working on. And then finally, we enter the control room. So the control room will have different levers for different areas. This will probably expand at some point, depending on how many more machines we're going to have. And basically, it turns off everything that we are not using. It's also linked to the iron production as well as everything else, which is the sand and gravel and the cobblestone, and etc. So, here we are. So, I really want to show you guys what the bigger picture is here. And the only way I'm going to do that is literally if I go into Spectate. Spectate will make it a little bit more easier because I'm able to go around without actually having chunks missing. So, if I press J and you guys can see, there is a giant railway track going all the way around to locate all the different areas we need for the base. And I'm actually pretty impressed because it took like about 4 hours to create and it took a very long time. So the reason why I've done this now is because rails are a little bit of a pain in the backside. And this will help tell you where everything is, how I want it designed and basically how the track is going to work. There is going to be a lot of terraforming involved and a lot of more like bridge making involved. It's something I'm actually going to really enjoy and it goes all the way through the village. As you can see we're not going to take the very big toll of the bridge but you can see as it goes straight through two villages um, on the map where you can see little corners of um, wood basically being laid. It goes back down here, hits this general area and then finally um, it goes all the way over to the farm. So the farm is here and this is basically how this one works. This one's probably the most donkeyest bridge because the ex um, elevation from there all the way down was a bit of a pain. I was going to bring it all the way down to here but I thought let's just make it a very funky looking bridge and then it also had to curve because this bridge was already built and so was that one. So I couldn't really really make this one or the other one uh, work that well because I always put all the blocks in for it to work. So we kind of come up with this design. Here is going to be probably like a small little like um, area of a workshop for the wood which is basically where the trade area is going to be and the pickup and then everything else is going to be for the farms. There is going to bunch, be a bunch of little habitats for little like animals such as buffaloes and etc. Which I think is going to be quite fun to make at some point. I also came across a banner never portal which I didn't see before and it's actually attached to our little island which we are currently working on. So this is a very long process and I've put some supports in some places where the bridge is going to be and it's going to be a very long processing world. So don't forget if you guys do enjoy the series don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment and also subscribe it will be really really handy. So let's get back to the episode where we actually work on our next project. So before we actually cut to there, we are actually going to do a time lapse to begin with. So the time lapse is basically going to show you guys the build of these smelteries. The smeltery is going to be this building here and this is basically the one of the next projects we're going to do. Because we're not going to be working in this area and we need this thing built up today. We are going to be working in two other builds which is going to be um, the train creation area as well as a wood area. So we've got quite a lot of builds to do and I can't wait to get into it. I've still got to design the wood farm so this will be a little bit longer but um, the train one we're going to be working together and I hope you guys will enjoy it. This might be a little bit longer. I'm hoping to try and keep it in the 24 minutes because I feel like you guys enjoy the 24 minute ones than the 30 minute ones. 
So if some parts are cut off, it's because I did one at a time, but please be aware, these videos do take a long time to record, prep, and organize as I go. So I hope you guys enjoy, and hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. Let's get to it. Bye again.
welcome back to Create. We are here at the tree farm. We finally got it all set up. I did some work. As you guys saw, I just set up like the base of the basic machinery and basically just got the vaults. So there is quite a lot of stuff that I've actually done and I was going to show you guys how this works. So basically this one here, it cuts up the 4x4 trees. So basically you hit the button, you run away. And then basically this one will go around in circles, collect it up, it will collect and depot, go into here and go into the vault. This one will do dark oak, jungle and spruce and as it goes round it will collect and drop stuff off. As you can see here this is the item vault and so it shows you how much of each is in the container. And then all the other stuff that are not logs will go in here such as apples, sticks, uh, bananas etc. The good news is we now have banana to give a cabbage and then over here is all the single way trees, which is your mangrove, your acacia, your cherry, your oak, your spruce, no, your oak and your birch. This one's a little bit more difficult because you have to break this single block, then push, and let it go. Sometimes it destroys some of the trout saplings, not all of them though. I think it got stuck somehow. How'd you get stuck? Come on. Fly! Ooh. I got stuck by a fly. Go away. There we go. <laughs> okay, the flies are a pain because when they it gets trapped between the levers, it's like a little bit of a. You know what you did you you know what you can do? Is literally you can go over here, and you can sit there. Stop it. Don't mind you being here. Stopping a pain. But as you see, everything that we get will go into these drawers and then all the logs will go here and yeah, the percentage will go up as we go. Which is pretty cool, pretty handy and we can get anything we want and it is pretty nice. So yeah. Welcome to our little tree farm. It is a very conditional tree farm. It is somewhat manual labour, but also not to the point you don't have to actually break anything. There is a couple of um, tweaks I need to add to it, such as the mangrove is something that you're going to have to get used to cutting down ever so often by manual labour. It's because not every single part of the mangrove will get chopped. Yeah, it's just how this one works. So, I was able to fix that, but sadly it decided not to be a fixie. So yeah, and as you can see here we've got some splay links which is attached down a, um, uh, a giant wind turbine with wall at the bottom which is powering up the display keys and also the conveyor belt as you can see here, which is conveyed by a speed controller which is also linked to a clutch so if we don't need the farm at the moment we can let you go back over to where our control unit is we all go upstairs let's go quickly upstairs quickly and we can go over here and turn it off so this now should be all linked if we go back over there now This should all be turned off, which it actually is. So it means the belt should st the belt should have stopped working, and everything should have stopped working. It doesn't has not seem to work. Oh then, I feel like we go we go down technical sport road. Technical sport, down we go. Is it too far? This one might be a little bit too far. It is oak we are using in it. Double dirt. Right. Howding. Ow! Where the hell are we? Oh, we're up here. Uh, should be able to get over to the <laughs> control unit. Uh, let's do double dirt and see if we can get that to. Let me shut it off. I think this one is a bit too far, so we might need a different con control unit over here to stop this from working. It just stops the lag. Yep, yeah, looks like the 
Redstone still link in that area is a little bit too far so any farms around here we are gonna have to build our own little separate little control tower which we can probably put like location right around right about here anyway so we've got access to all the farms that should be fine i can literally just do what i exactly did over there and put it over here so i can do that off camera that shouldn't re really take too much time but yeah guys we have run out of time for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are interested don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a comment that would be really handy and also thank you for watching catch you guys next time bye guys